Happy New Year! 2021 XTV is back with another video for yo all you Survival Hunter fans. Before I get into it, you probably already know what it is because I put it in the title above, but I'm going to show you some tips and tricks. Um, and well, from, from my personal perspective, there's a whole um, page up on Icy Veins that you can read through if you wish. Or come through here uh, and from actually cleared through eight and show you I just lit eight and I'll show you but I want to show you some tips and tricks uh, to clear it solo I like to do them solo it gets them really fast it helps when you have a decent gear as well um, but first first how we do thank you everybody that has been here from 2020 joining me one new subscribers um just want to mention there has been some recent have touched me because a lot of you guys have <coughs> been advising that you guys are loving my content helped you play the spec um, and that's what i really want to do these are why the video or help you learn survival hunter at a basic um at a not an expert level I, I would not an expert at it um but yeah um if i if i can help you guys uh your gameplay so you guys can that's what i'm here for hopefully all my videos that you enjoy do enjoy hit the like hit the subscribe hit the bell get notified when they're all up um and i'm appreciate very appreciate all the support 20 and um so like i showed you before i did level eight and what i want to do is i'll, I'll show you the my, my talent setup and i'll <coughs> show you some footage and go go through what i'll do it so we're <coughs> running through the standard much this all on 10 Alpha Predator, Kill Command, 2 charges, deals 30% increased damage. Guerrilla Tactics, Wildfire Bomb, 2 charges, and the initial explosion does 100% increased damage. And we are running the Wildfire Cluster. Throw it, extra bombs that found it. Uh, I like to run Trailblazer, but any of these are really good. The reason why I like Trailblazer, Trailblazer is because you run faster. It did you run faster. Um, default here, Bloodseeker. Bloodseeker does not damage seconds. Max speed for every lead in there. Free damage. Don't have to. Buttons. Here, I go with post haste. Sometimes I go binding shot, depend on what the level is. But basically, I go post haste because, again, more speed. Gauge running through. Uh, if you can disengage and you can. Yeah, tip of the spear, kill command increases the damage of your next rubber shot by 25% three times. Uh, it's just extra free damage on your raptor strike. I'll be making a video how to play tip of the spear uh, properly. A lot of people have been saying uh, to build to three and always use raptor strike. That's not the way to do it, but I'll explain. And then basic and of course, <coughs> Wildfire infusion. Uh, your wildfire bomb chain three bombs, shrapnel bomb, thermo bomb, volatile bomb. Uh any setup. When I cleared level late with. What we'll do now is we'll I'll I'll go through some tips and tricks while showing you. So I think a few things that you want to set up first. Uh, number one, misdirection to your pet macro. So, at pet cast misdirection, you want to set that up. You always want to pet misdirect every single time, even though your pet has a taunt. Uh, if you're doing an AOE pull, you 100% want to direct all the time. Uh, the second most important thing in the dungeon is men pet. Men pet 
on cooldown. I will men pet 70% or less. Um, in Shadowlands, pets are very, very squishy now. So if your pet dies, you're going to have to feign death uh, and raise your pet. That's a uh, four second cooldown to waste. Or you could turtle and uh, cast revive pet. So keeping your pet up uh, makes the, the runs faster. Um, uh, because because you don't, you're not going to spend time raising pet. So they're, 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 they're the keys. Uh, I mean, and you also do get powers where your misdirection takes less damage and also your misdirection does extra damage. So just get into the habit of always using your misdirection, your pet macro, even for like world quests and whatnot. You always want to keep it. And, and for PvP. <coughs> Um, the, the next couple of things is, of course, anime powers. Always go for your damaging ones. Damaging is going to make your runs very, very fast. So you have your kill command uh, that gets increased to 50% now. You have your kill shot that gets increased by 100%. Um, other good ones are your cr increased crit damage. Um, increased haste, increased mastery. Uh, you do get some talents such as Viper's Venom, which I get in this run. Uh, you do get Bloodseeker, uh, and you do. I think I think you get Chakrams. So any 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 power that you just get, just get for damage, um, because more again more the more damaging abilities you have, uh, the more faster it's going to run. What one power that I real actually really really like here is the cooldown of exhilaration by twenty seconds or thirty seconds. It, it's a really good one. It lets me know I can play a lot safer and pull a lot more very quickly because exhilaration is going to be. There. It's the oh my god, my pet's about to die, or oh my god, I'm about to die. I need I need some healing, um, and to be able to do that a lot more. Is um really good one one thing that you probably just saw is feign death feign death is such a good offensive cooldown in here it lets you um one not waste the death and two be able to skip um a lot of bad mobs yeah so you, you'll see later on actually in run where um there, there's a corridor with like four elites which i really don't want to deal with right so you see me shape shift uh soul shape uh blink twice find a a spot in a corner and just feign death one trick that you also need to understand is why you're doing that why you're doing a feign death run is if you have a follower that you've picked up like for a quest uh, what you need to do is, once you feign death, you can't jump up straight away. Because if you jump up straight away, what's going to happen is you're going to get the act back. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to actually um, click on the follower there and make sure it dies. All, the, all of the followers actually regen 100%. Just, just bear in mind that or else if not you're up screwing up your run another tip that um you actually don't know so previously bloodlust slash heroism didn't actually go on cooldown, but it actually goes on cooldown now every single floor they actually are able to use heroism or bloodlust all the time well once every floor so play around that. Play around when you have bloodlust. You really nasty pack with elite one elite or two elites, um, and make sure you have your um, wild spirits slash your coordinators assault ready. Just go in, misdirect, hit men pet straight away, then start your um, DPS because your, your your pet's gonna take a lot of damage up front. Want the passive healing to come through, and then you can start your um, the, your coordinator salt into your wild spirits into your double bomb into your carve 
I like to get a whole bunch of upfront damage straight away and hopefully you can kill like the um, the non elite in there first and then you slowly slowly deal with um, the elite mob that's left there. <clears throat> Another trip also is using your frost trap. You can frost trap um, enemies that you want to pull separately as well. So don't forget frost trap is a really good one. Um, so just it's a lot of utility that survival hunters have to be able to skip pain death, frost freezing trap. So a couple of things as well. Um, I like to just run these as much as possible. Torgas. One of those things that I don't really enjoy as much, um, but we but we have to do them. So one good power that you should also get if you can get is getting the one the plundered anima. You can see what mobs have anime powers. One thing about survival hunters is the more anime power. Well, I think it's more anime powers you have, the faster it's going to go. So at the start of this floor, which you saw, uh, which you didn't sort of see actually, I actually went up the middle and I scouted to the left and the right to look at mobs that had the little glowing thing on top of the head, on top of the head, um, and then I ran, went down and just went for them and, and killed those really quickly. You never know; they could give you some really epic ones, some legendary ones. And it just makes the run smooth. Hopefully, you do get a good run where you do get some damaging ones. Um, sometimes I haven't got that. Uh, makes the runs really low. Um, some other enemy powers that you probably that I really like. Sorry, I like the ones where you get uh, increased phantasma. So ones that drop off mobs. Um, seventy five, one fifty, hundred. I love to get that. On layer three, I always pick up the 250 orb that turns a non-elite uh, into anima, and I'll always use it on the shop after I finish um, spending any excess. Because you get 400 anima there, 100% always want to use it. It just helps you, and RNG-wise, on layer six, you'll be able to pick up enemy powers for the last boss. But um, that's pretty much it. That's a couple of things. I think when I started doing Torgas, I actually didn't themselves. I never misdirected, never meant petted for some reason. No, I always use acceleration as my heal cooldown. Um, I didn't really. I just cleared the floors. Didn't use main death as um a way to skip. Use camouflage if you want. Um, yeah. Hopefully. This has taught you a little bit on how to clear talk as, as a survival hunter. Um, again, if you you enjoy my content, please do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification for anything else. If you do have any questions about Torghast or about survival hunter or about survival hunter in Torghast, please leave a comment, everything below, and I'll answer them as much, sorry, as quick as possible and in detail. But again, I thank everybody here for providing me the support in 2020 and going into one. And hopefully I can showcase that Survival Hunter actually good. And we're only going to get better once more gear comes out and more haste. Get more haste and more crit. Hopefully, not a meme. Thank you everybody for being here. Watching. I appreciate it. Thanks, TV. Beep.